Hey everyone, welcome to another hunt video. Today we're going to be hunting the one-horned wyvern, Monobloss. So let's get on with it. And here he is. So, Monobloss. As you can see, he is... Well, he, she, whatever it is, is pretty much a Diabloss, but... Oh my god, that was close. Is pretty much a Diabloss, but, as you can see, with a single horn. Um, one thing that's interesting about Monobloss is you're only able to fight him in, like, single player, so village quests. Um, I can't remember the exact lore. It's something about, like, the guild. You're not allowed... You're not supposed to hunt them in... I can't remember exactly what it is. It's something about that. But either way, you can only hunt them as a single person in village quests, which is kind of interesting, but also kind of sad, because you never get to fight one full strength. Oh, we've already got his tail. Um, one thing that's interesting with Monobloss is you might think it is literally just a Diabloss with one horn, but there actually are differences. Its head, like the whole head itself is slightly different, um, and like the, the back is different as well. So like even though it looks pretty much exactly the same, it isn't. Um, and also, as you can see, when Monobloss gets enraged, they, it has the uh, red stripes on its head bit. I don't know what that bit's called. The, I, I don't know what that bit's called. Um, one other thing with Monobloss is he's not been in many games. Um, he's pretty much, let me just see, he's been in Freedom 2, Freedom Unite, and 4 Ultimate. Like, for mainline games, that's all he's been in. I actually didn't know he was in 4 Ultimate, to be honest, so I actually thought he was, like, maybe only Freedom Unite, but... So he's, it's pretty cool, he's at least in for you, um, but Capcom always seems to prefer Diabolos, they don't often, like, br do, um, they don't often bring Monobloss into the game. Um, I don't have any paintballs. <laughs> I wonder if it's due to the fact that it is just a single player only monster, at, like, according to the lore. I mean, they could change that. They could just make it a multiplayer monster, you know, like, it's not like they have to adhere to the lore, so they could do that. Personally, I've always preferred Monobloss. I mean, yeah, he is pretty much the exact same thing as Diabloss. Just, like, they share majority the same moves. Pretty much everything is the same about them. But I, I don't know if it's the rarity, like, the fact that Monobloss is rarer to find in the games, or... I don't know, I think he just kind of looks cooler. I like the way he works a bit more. Um, there's also another version of Monobloss. If he, is he ever going to come up? Okay. Um, there's a Monobloss called the White Monobloss. So, you know how Diabloss has Black Diabloss as its um, subspecies? Well, Monobloss has White Monobloss as its subspecies. Um, so, you know, it's kind of cool in that way, in my opinion. <laughs> like, it's the it's like the opposite, the yin-yang. I'm really hoping that... Oh, that was far effect. I'm really hoping that they'll bring Monobloss back in, maybe in Wilds, possibly. Because um, just for me, like, I do like Diabloss, but I'm kind of getting bored of him. And I, I feel like some people might feel the same, but like, you know, Diabloss is in, what, pretty much every single game? I'm, I'm, I actually, I'm not sure what, how, what Diabloss is in, but Monobloss is just so rare for the game series. Like, as I said, he's only been in pretty much Freedom Unite and 4. Um, so like, his last, his last game was 4 Ultimate, so the 4th generation, and before that, the 2nd generation, so I feel like they should bring him back. Now, obviously, as I said, Monobloss pretty much has the same moveset as a Diabloss, as, you, as you've been able to see in this fight. Um, does the dig, does the sprint, does the roar, does the tail swipe, um, does the spin. Like, you know, it is the basic moveset. Um, but I feel like they could... Obviously, if they put him in a future game... Like, I'm not sure what he's like in For You. I haven't fought him in For You. Um, but in a future game, they could probably do some more distinctions, because they are pretty much... Oh god, exactly the same as they are right now. Um, so it'd be good if they could do a few more different things. Um, also, I just remembered I already cut the tail off, so I can't even show it. Um, but the tail is actually different to Diabloss as well. So Diabloss's tail is like a double club type thing. Like there's two sections of it and it's like a club. Um, Monobloss's tail is a single club type thing. So it's just one instead of the double bits like what Diabloss has. Um, if you fought Diabloss, you, you know what I'm talking about, the, the double tail thingy. Um, if we, once we hunt him, I might go back to the area and show you the tail. I mean, I'm sure you guys saw it at the start anyway, but it's still, you know, just good to get it as well, so I can show you. But, um, Monobloss is one of those monsters where, especially since you have to fight him solo, it's a lot of people would have troubles with. Um, because pretty much he's, like, the same aggressiveness as a Diabloss, um... 
maybe a little more, maybe the same, I'm not too sure. Um, but he's pretty much like, you know, the same craziness as a Diablos, but you can only hunt him solo. And obviously I know quite a lot of people have issues with Diablos, so, you know, if you have issues with Diablos and you're having, like, if you do that multiplayer or something, doing this, then half being forced to do this solo, you, you might have some more issues. Um, obviously solo they have less health, but, you know, at the same time then you're the focus. So I've missed like 80% of those attacks. But yeah, then you're the focus half the time. Um, but there is, I believe there's a quest, I'm not sure if you have to do it, I can't remember. You mu I think you have to. I can't remember the key quests in this game. Um, but I believe there's one where you have to fight two monobloss, so like normal monobloss and white monobloss in one quest. Um, just like how in G rank in this game you have to do the, maybe it's two white monobloss, I'm not sure. Either way, in G rank how you have to do the two black diabloss, it's that sort of thing for a Nakot quest. But obviously, as I said, it's only single player. Oh god, I'm gonna be hit. It's only single player, so I feel like for a lot of people they'll struggle more with it. I remember back when, oh god when I played this game, um, and, oh, I'm dead, uh, and I had to do the Monobloss solo, oh my god, I had to do the Monobloss solo, um, I had actually quite a f okay, we're actually dead, this shows how strong he is, if he, uh, oh my god, okay, I'm not, <laughs> but, um, yeah, I had troubles with him back when I had to do it solo, because I had to do it solo, this was back when I was, like, you know, 10, 11, because I well, pretty much only played with people at that point, I didn't really do solo, to be honest, I don't think I was very good at the game. <laughs> but I'm better now. Um, I've completely soloed the whole game. If you guys have seen the Freedom Unite series, if you haven't, go check that out. I'm sure you enjoy it. If you enjoy these hunt videos, the Freedom Unite series is pretty much just a long, <laughs> like long hunt videos. Oh god. I didn't. Re I thought that was a weird turn that he did. I thought he was going to go off and limp. Okay, there we go. We've got him limping. So yeah. Um, this is a Nakok quest, so like this is technically the hardest monobloss type fight you can do, but obviously compared to G rank it's quite easy, <laughs> um, especially because obviously I've played through the whole game and like, you know, White Fatalis all that, um, so this is not that hard, especially with a good weapon, um, but he is still hard, so like if you're new to the game and you have troubles with Diabloss, be prepared for monobloss. because um, I believe you f you'd fight Diabloss prior to monobloss, I'd guess, well actually it depends really. Um, it depends if you do, you know, guild before, um, you know, the village quests or the other way around. Okay, and here he is. I'll show you the tail while I'm here. Um, so this is what his tail looks like. See how it's just one single club instead of Diablos, how it has two? That's what I was meaning. Now, so he, he should be, he was limping, so he's going to be near dead. Um, especially with this weapon, I don't think he'll be too many hits away. Um, but yeah, as I said, I do quite like Monoblos. Like, I like the look of it. I just wish it was a bit more different to Diablos. I mean, I'm sure, you know, if they do, if they did add him into something like Y, I would say, I reckon they could change him quite a bit and make him better, just because, yeah. I mean, obviously he is, like, the same as Diablos in the sense of, you know, body structure, shape and all of that, but I just, he's, he looks different, so I want him to have more distinguishing features, and there we go. So yeah, that was pretty easy, but as I said, if you're new, be prepared, because it is just like Diabolos, but single player, so you know, it can be quite hard. And there we go, guys, Mr. Monobloss down. So next episode, I'm probably going to do Diabolos, because, you know, may as well keep it in uh, in line with that. And then, I was thinking of doing White Monobloss, Black Diabolos, but honestly, there's not much of a difference, so I don't think I will just yet, maybe in the future, but not back to back. So if you guys enjoyed this episode, don't forget to like and subscribe, and let me know in the comments below what you want to see after Diabolos, because I'm honestly not too sure. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next hunt video. See ya.